Hello. Here I am again. You can see my dies in the background and my very disorganised filing cabinets. So again, this is the last colour and I thought I'd just add a real electric zing to it. As before, when a colour rests on top of other colours, it's not going to show its true self, but it's going to really add to the composition of the stripes. Stripes are a solid shape, but you've got to remember this is a scarf. So as you wear it and twist it, the stripes spell the movement of the scarf and they intertwine and colours appear and reappear. This is a lovely colour, almost true magenta, but you'll hardly see it in its true self because the other colours, the previous colours I've used have filled up pretty much but we don't mind because it adds to variety. I use a nice soft wide brush to give me a nice wide line of paint but if you want a delicate line you just put it on the side and you don't press as hard. Of course you've got to allow like that you've got to allow for the spread of paint and that's as I'm always going on about, is the unpredictability of silk painting because it has a mind of its own. It works with you, it works for you, but it also works for itself. It's very playful. And you have to realise that, that you can't truly manipulate it, not with the techniques I use anyway. The techniques I use and the techniques I love. So that's a few pink stripes. I think we'll do another thin one down here so the brush goes on its side. And I think that's done, don't you?